<laughs> Again, I never want to be the problem, okay? So my grocery store is open 24 hours a day. You know what I did? I went in at 3 a.m. <laughs> Nobody there. I did a self-training on this machine. <laughs> I got all the different screens down. I memorized some of my favorite items. 4162, bananas. I know this stuff. So on a Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, when it's packed, I'm cooking. I'm helping out other people. I was in the human line, I'm sitting there. <laughs> My line ain't moving. At a price check, you ever get this? They're sitting there, they scan the steak. The price doesn't show up. Now they have to turn and ask Timmy, bagger, <laughs> to go find out what the T-bone steak costs. That person's always like, yes, Timmy, could you please? Please go find out for me. And now you hear the whole line just get deflated. And pissed off at this one person because they didn't pick out the right state. I never want to be the problem. If they scan my steak and it doesn't show up, you know what I tell the cashier? Forget it. I don't need it. Keep it going. You think I'm going to wait for Timmy? Timmy don't even know he's working. leaves here, he ain't coming back. <laughs> Is there even an interview with this kid? <laughs> I don't know, I'm looking at the banger. He's got a rainbow mohawk, right? <laughs> Danny's got this, I don't know what it is, if it's an earring, you ever see this? It looked like somebody took a shotgun and blew a hole through his ear. And then they put magnets in his earlobe. Do you know what would happen to me if I ever came home as a kid with magnets hanging out of my ear? My father would throw me against the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm in line, I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to be green, it's hard, okay? I got plastic this time. I, I, the whole line got upset, I could tell the whole line got upset to me with the plastic bags. I'm like, yeah, plastic, the whole line's like, oh! <laughs> He's not green! Because they all brought their bag, <laughs> made out of wheat. <laughs> You know what I do when I see that? Double bag. <laughs> I get frustrated when I talk about this stuff. Right? You ever see somebody leave the grocery store and the alarm go off? <laughs> That alarm constantly goes off. People walk off, right? And all of a sudden they hear, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and what do they, they always tell you? Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! You can have nine steaks down your pants. Shoutouts to Renko11 and Ray Lalu. Ray Lalu, is that how it's pronounced? Ray Lalu in France, I believe. Thank you for listening, sir. And now, well, first of all, I want to give my, my email address here is drunkenradiopirate at gmail.com. Drunkenradiopirate 
at gmail.com if you want to send me a reception report. And I will send you an XQSL from Radio Humperdue. Just sitting back, having a few brewskis tonight. Decided to come on the air. It's been a while. I think a couple of months that I've been on. So uh, I'm going to play a few songs now for my buddy, a good, a good friend of mine, Skip Muck. Very good friend, Skip Muck. He wants to hear some Betty Blowtorch. If anybody wants to hear anything, post your song request in uh, hfunderground.com. I'll be sure to play it. Whatever you want to hear, I'll play. Play some songs from Betty Blowtorch for my buddy Skip Muck. Right here on Radio Humperdoo.